So hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add WooCommerce customers to Zoho Books automatically. So whenever a user or a customer is added in your WooCommerce account, then you want to create a backup of that contact in your Zoho Books as well. So rather than creating contacts at two different places, the same contact creation has to be done at two different places that is WooCommerce and Zoho Books. So you can create a complete automation with the help of Pabli Connect so that you will be able to integrate both these applications. In this automation, our trigger is going to be new customer added in WooCommerce and our action will be create a contact in Zoho Books. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how can you create a contact in your Zoho Books whenever a new user or a customer is added in your WooCommerce account. So for this, we are going to use Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we will use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now, which will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it is written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as add WooCommerce customers to Zoho Books. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see trigger and action the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation runs over here. Before that, before we start making our workflow, I want you to remember to open the applications which are supposed to be integrated for this automation. Like we need WooCommerce and our Zoho Books. Let us log in into Zoho Books also, which is this. So here we are and we have to search for contacts over here. Customers and see we have these two customers which are existing right now What we will do now is that whenever a new customer will be added in our WooCommerce Then that customer will also be automatically added in our Zoho books over here So let us begin our trigger says when this happens an action says do this Which means that trigger will be the first application where the event will take place first Like we have here WooCommerce because the contact will be first created in WooCommerce, right? So our trigger will be creation of a contact in WooCommerce and when this happens when a customer is created then this workflow will start running and when it will run the action application which is going to be Zoho Books will perform the action of creating a contact in the Zoho Books record so it will be create contact so this is how the workflow will run let us start with our trigger application when you choose the event as new customer created you are provided a webhook URL over here Okay, now this webhook URL acts like a bridge between trigger application WooCommerce and Pabli Connect such that every new customer created, the details related to that customer will be brought over here as a response so that those details can be further transferred to Zoho Books to create a contact. So to integrate, we have these instructions given over here. Let us follow these and connect this webhook URL with Zoho with WooCommerce. So copy it from here. And since we are dealing with WooCommerce, we will go to the settings of WooCommerce and you will find an advanced tab over here. Click on the tab. It will take you to this place where you can see webhooks like a new small link over here. Now you have all the webhooks over here that are ever created. So what you will do is add new webhook. Click on add webhook. So a form will appear in front of you where you have to give new name to your new webhook. So here I will write Zoho contacts. The status of my webhook will be active. The option is or the topic is customer created. So I'm going to choose that, that this event will make sure that this URL will run. Okay, so in the delivery URL, I have pasted the webhook URL and I will save the webhook. Now that it is saved, you will see that you will receive a response of the confirmation of the integration that the connection is done. See, we have a webhook ID 857. This is a random number or this is the ID of our webhook integration, which is complete. Now what we need in response, basically, we need the details of the new customer created. So we will recapture the webhook response. And now when it will wait for the response this time, we will go and create a contact. Click on new and here come to user. Now fill up this form. I want a user, so I will write over here. This is my username, now email address, then my first name, my last name, and a website as well. Now the role of this contact is customer, add new user. So I have created a dummy contact over here with this name, this username, email address, and other details over here. 
Okay, let me go back and see. Here we have already received the response. If you see it very clearly, this is the username of our customer. And now we scroll down, you will find their ID. The role is customer over here. This is the last name, first name and email address is also provided. So now we, whatever details we entered over there to create a customer, we have received the response for the same. Now we will use these details to create a customer in our Zoho books as well. So open your application and here connect Zoho books with Pabli Connect for the same reason so that Pabli Connect gets access to create a contact in Zoho books from the data it has taken from WooCommerce. Click on connect. Add new connection and connect with Zoho Books. Now you're supposed to enter the domain over here. These are the examples given for domain. You go back to your Zoho Books and see what is your domain. It is Zoho.in. So I'm going to type over here Zoho.in because that is my domain. Click on save and just give access by clicking on accept. Now that your connection is successful, you will map or enter the data whatever you have received in the trigger response. See. First of all, you have to choose your organization name. So check for your organization name. Is it the same? Yes, it is the same. So leave it. Our contact type is a customer or a vendor. It is a customer because yes, a customer was created in WooCommerce also. It is individual, not a company or organization. So I'm going to choose individual only. The language code. So I'm going to make it EN from here, which is English. Port enabled keep it to false. All of these are the Boolean values that you need to enter. So they either have to be true or false. I'm keeping it to false currency. You can change it according to your place and whatever currency you are accepting, which is this over here. You scroll down and find the relevant places. Okay. Contact name. So in contact name, I will choose to enter the username because I have two separate fields for a first name and last name. Now, what did, what did I just do over here? I mapped the value so that whenever a new customer is created in WooCommerce, that new data will be entered in the username field like this. And then it will be automatically mapped in the contact name field of my Zoho books. All right. So I won't enter that manually. I will simply open the drop down menu of my previous step and then map the values from there. Like my first name was this. So the other new first name for a new workflow or for a new situation, that first name will appear in this field. Similarly, I will map the last name, which is Singh. So I will take it from here like this. Now I need the email address. So as you can see, we have a long list of responses in my trigger application. So what I will do is type a little bit of hint in search and map data. Like I will write at the rate, it will straight away take me to the email address. What is left? We don't have a mobile or phone number and we don't have any other field left to be filled over there. One thing which is important is tax that the customer does not have tax value here. So what we will do is, is taxable. So we are going to map it activate the map button and erase this part. Okay, so because we are not entering anything, which means it's not taxable. Scroll down and click on save and send test request. And here our contact has been created. See, the contact is created. Here is the username, which is also the contact name. Then the first name, last name, and we have the other details like the email address also. So here, as much as we have made the changes for our Zoho book contact from WooCommerce, our work has been done so let us close this module and go back to our zoho books to check were we able to create it or not and here it is see this is our contact the name is the username you open it and this is the complete name with the email address which means that every new customer in woocommerce will be added to our zoho book automatically so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pabli connect if you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.